Hello. Hello. Hatuna uhakika ya kwamba wale wako kwenye kambi wamerudi katika msitu. Tunajua kwamba hawajarudi, wameheshimu msimamo wa serikali na hakuna yeyote kutoka kwa kambi ambayo tunajua wamerudi. Hawa ambao wamerudi pale ama wako kule ndani ni watu ambao wamekaidi amri za serikali na basi tutapambana na wao kwa sababu hawa ni wahalifu. Wale wote ambao wako ndani ya msitu kwa njia moja ama nyingine waondoke mara moja. Tunataka watoke hapo mara moja kwa sababu msitu huu ni rasilimali. Msitu huu umeharibika. Because that forest is about 46,000 acres. I mean hectares. Half of it is gone. Nusu ya msitu huo umeharibiwa na unaendelea kuharibiwa. Hata ile imebaki iko katika hali hatari. Sijaona kiumbe chochote huko isipokuwa binadamu. Viumbe vingine vyote vimehama na tujua wamehama wameenda wapi. Miti imekatwa na adhari kubwa imeonekana pale. Na kusema ukweli mambo yamekuwa magumu sana hapa na lugha ambayo tumetumia si nzuri kwa sababu tumekemeana. Manake jambo kubwa ambalo limechangia uharibifu huo ni tabia na mienendo ya wafanyikazi wa serikali. Tumechangia kwa kiasi kikubwa uharibifu wa msitu wa Masai Mau na Mau kwa jumla tabia mbovu 
na mambo ya kutafuta hongo na mambo ya kukosa kuwajibika katika shughuli ambazo tumepewa na serikali. Kwa hivyo tumewaelezea kwa uwazi ya kwamba uzembe na tabia mbovu na kukosa kuwajibika hautakubaliwa katika e, nyakati za sasa na kuendelea mbele. Na tutafanya uchunguzi kikamilifu ili kukadiria kwanza hasara ambayo ofisa hao wameleta na hatua ambayo itakuja kuchukuliwa. Kwa hivyo hatua ya kwanza kabla serikali haijaingilia na kuwatafuta wale ambao wako ndani tunataka watoke mara moja kwa sababu kitu kitachofuata baadaye itakuwa ni hatua ya kuwafurusha na hatutaki kujua tunawapeleka wapi si kazi yetu waliingia kwanza namna gani kwa hivyo kila mtu mahali alitoka aende na atoke kwa hiyo msitu serikali iko na mpango na ina mpango thabit na si kuongea peke yake muda ambao unakuja siku za usoni hapa karibu kabisa kazi hii tutaanza na hii ndio itakuwa kikomo ya msitu wa mau kuingiliwa tena tutaulinda na tutahakikisha uthabiti wake uendelee na ili tuendelee kupata manufaa kutokana na msitu huu fence paka saa hii ile ambaye ime iliwekwa ua ni kilomita 30 na imebaki sehemu kubwa hiyo sehemu ambaye imewekwa haijaadhiriwa bado iko sawa lakini zile beacons ambazo ziliwekwa pale ndio walitoa na tutarudia hiyo kazi ya kurejesha beacons na mipaka ya Masai Mau hapo ndio tutaanzia shughuli zetu so what we are saying is this the boundaries of Masai Mau are well known well defined they are there so people should be able to respect it is going to be very effective and with finality that there will be no further destruction of this forest courtesy of encroachers so all those encroachers who know themselves who are within the confines of that forest the masai mau forest should immediately vacate the removal will be accompanied with charges before court we should be able to understand why exactly these people are there so that is the position people should not politicize the natural resource which is here they should keep off from this and allow us to do the business that we are here in for they are not even supposed to have been there in the first place so it is wrong for them to continue you know engaging in activities within a gazetted forest they are not supposed to be there within any forest so what okay sai